Hi guys, this is Monica. I am going to do my updated morning skincare routine. I've already posted my nighttime skincare routine. I'm going to link it here. So if you haven't seen that, you might want to check it out. So my morning routine, I am pretty well a creature of habit. I like to do, you know, my routine. I like to take my time. So most days I get up early, mainly because I want to take my time doing my skin care. The morning is a lot easier than at night because I don't have all the makeup on. I don't have eye makeup that I have to remove. So when I get up in the morning, I will typically, if I look at all flaky, which oftentimes I don't. I might have some flakiness here, but if I do, I, when I wash, sometimes I just use some warm water and then I will just do a gentle glycolic exfoliation and I use this one. I show this in my nighttime routine. I really like this a lot. It's gentle. It does the trick. I basically use my Foreo and I just gently wash in the morning. Now, once I'm done that, while my skin is still somewhat damp, I go to the kitchen and I take out of the kitchen the three serums that I keep in my refrigerator. So one is my Timeless 20% C plus E plus Froelic Acid. I buy the refill size and when Timeless has the 50% off sale, this is a fantastic bargain. I usually buy the big bottle of it, put it in the freezer or take it out as I need it. I usually take a dropper, you know, a couple of drops on the palm of my hands. I also make sure that the palm of my hands is very, very clean. And once I take the drops on there, I basically put my hands together and I pat it into my face. I absolutely love, love the way that feels as I'm putting it into my skin. I will go down into my neck, into my chest area, and then what's left over, I go on my hands, and I just really love it. While that is still damp, but not wet, obviously, I'm letting it soak in a little bit, I will go and take my second Timeless Serum, which I really like, like. and this is the Matrixel 3000 Serum, and I take this and I do the same thing. I put the droppers in, pat it into my skin. It just feels absolutely wonderful, and I do the same thing on my hands. So I'm very, very consistent. At that point in time, I take the Ordinary Caffeine Solution which I also keep in the refrigerator and I take a drop or even less, I mean just a tiny, tiny bit and I tap it together and I just gently tap it into the bags of my eyes. I can immediately sometimes see a little bit of a diminishing of the bags but it is because it is the caffeine solution and it's cold. So it immediately has a soothing effect on my eyes which I really like. Now then I normally walk those back to the refrigerator and put them away. My other serums that I normally put on, and this is by Astorwood Naturals, and this is the Matrixel 3000 Plus Agriline. I know I'm pronouncing that wrong. I'm totally, totally butchering that name. I will then take this. This is the Botox in the bottle. And I will take that and I put, I put like into my creases into my marionette lines over where all my little you know wrinkles and oh all those ugly little lines from aging and smiling too much maybe and also on my forehead and on my 11s i really like to you know put that on and then i will more often than not take my hyaluronic acid and very very generously put this on my hands and do the same thing i pat that into my skin i let it absorb into my skin now, because I do things a little bit differently, at this point in time, I usually go in the living room, I have my first cup of coffee, I sit in my chair, I have my magnifying mirror with me, and I have my eye mascara primer. And before I put my primer on, my eyelashes, I take, and I didn't bring it in here, and I should have, but I take the Timeless Eye Cream, the one with Matrixel in it, and I just pat it all along my, I love it on my lids, and a little bit down into here. So I try to use that eye cream every day. I was out of it for a while and I really missed it, so I was really happy that I got it back. And then I sit there and I start to do my, my mascara. Yeah, I put my mascara on 
before I put my makeup on. That's just the way I do it. So by the time I've done that, I've had my coffee, I've checked my YouTube videos, I go back in the bathroom, and if my skin is feeling at all dry, and sometimes it does, you know how it is after you put the serums on, your skin might feel a little dry still. Or if I have a patchy area because I've been tending to flake here more than anywhere else, I will take a very little bit of my bee venom cream and just a dab and put it on my areas. Now, even though I put it on at night, I don't, I use it in the morning as well, only as needed. I don't, don't use it every day. I put it on and it stings in the morning just like it stings at night. It doesn't seem to ever not sting me when I use it. But I will put that on, I will let it dry into my skin, and sometimes, depending on how my skin is, I, at this point in time, might need to use the face oil. And I have been using, and I, I know I'm not gonna be able to say it because I butchered it before, Jehova? Jehova oil? That's what I have been using, although I just got from the, um, Ordinary, I just got the marula oil, so I'm going to start using that. So I have always switched on my face oil. I use, I'm going to say this one wrong too, Aragon, Aragon oil. Um, I And I use vitamin E sometimes, but I use a couple of different face oils. I try to get natural, cold pressed, etc., to make sure that I'm really doing, you know, using good oils. When I use the face oils, I put a very little bit on and I might pat it all over my skin. My skin is dry. I do have an oily T-zone, but in general, it's dry. When I add foundations to my skin, if the foundation is dry or you know anything of that nature, it immediately cakes into my skin. So I have been known to add a drop of face oil even to my IT Cosmetic CC Illuminating Foundation and even into my, my Boots Number no. 7 Lift and Illuminate, which I like a lot. I'll sometimes drop a, a little bit of oil in that and uh, and then put it on my skin. That would be my typical routine with the addition and I have been using this all summer. This is the Australian Gold. This is the Mineral Lotion Non-Greasy. This is the Tinted Face 50 SPF. Some days when I'm not going to work, I just end up putting this on my skin after I put my oil, my serums on and a little bit of bronzer. And this will hold me on a day that I'm really not going to work. But if I'm going to work, I want to have a little bit more of a coverage. I will put this on. Again, this is non-greasy. So for me, it can be very drying. So I am going to add some oil. Yeah, and maybe it'll dilute it, but I feel that I'm adequately protected no matter what. I'm gonna add some face oil a tiny, tiny bit, either before I apply this or right afterwards if I want. And then on top of this would go whatever foundation I might be wearing. I tend to gravitate to foundations that have SPF. I love the IT Cosmetics CC Cream. I love that because it's the 50 SPF. I have been wearing the Boots Number no. 7 a lot and the Physicians Formula Cushion Foundation as well as their BB Cream. I don't know if you've seen that, but the BB Cream is really nice, but I have to add some oil to that. So those are my three go-to foundations that I just mix and match. You know, I do, I mix and match. And my cushion foundation, I put that on top. I also have the It Cosmetics um, co uh, compact foundation that I carry around in my bag as well. Probably the most important thing. And that is my collagen supplement. I know I'm gonna sound like a broken record, <laughs> But, you know, people always say, you know, what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? And I, and I swear, I started this in January of 2016. And I swear this has, has made a huge, huge impact on my skin, on Jay's joints, on his being able to walk the golf course. Didn't happen overnight. No, it didn't. It took a while for this to kick in, but we take it twice a day every single day and have since January of 2016. I've noticed a big difference. Now, I've noticed a difference, I think, in my skin because I used to have the, I used to have the elbows that cracked and bled 
and um, they were so dry. I mean, my skin is dry, and I could always tell in my elbows because my sometimes the elbows would be so rough and chafy they would catch on sleeves, and sometimes they cracked and they bled, and I hated it. Once I started the collagen, that was the, the first thing I noticed was one day putting on a shirt, and this was probably in March, you know, dry season here in New England, and my elbows... They felt like they, they they felt so amazingly soft. It was like unbelievable. I went running out to living room and I said, "Jay, look at my elbows. Touch it, touch it." He couldn't believe it. So the moisture level in my skin, or or the maybe my skin plumping up, is the first thing I noticed with my collagen. So I I was so thrilled with that. I kept doing it. I do believe it's helped my skin. I do believe it's helped my hair to a, a, a smaller extent. And I know it's helped my nails because I don't have my tips on and my nails, even though they're still short and not too, they're not, they're not good looking by any stretch. They're, you know, they're kind of icky because I'm still trying to take, you know, heal them. They're unbelievably strong compared to how they were before I used the collagen. So yeah, other than regular general vitamins, the collagen is my biggest, biggest supplement that I will not do without. It's my holy grail. And then the rest of my skincare, you know, using good quality serums, then there's many different. You don't have to buy something that's super expensive and break the bank, um, but get a good vitamin C and use your vitamin C. I started using the Timeless Vitamin C, I believe in June, maybe even, June. I'd have to look it up, but I believe it was in June of 2016. I have not missed a day since then. Once I got this delivered to me, I have not missed a day. So consistency is the key in the name of the game for me. I've not missed a day of this. I've not missed a day of this. And my Matrixel, I really love my Matrixel 3000. I've not missed a day of this. Now there are other things that I've tried and will continue to try. My Bee Venom, I started this in November of 2016. I've not missed a day. Sometimes twice a day. So consistency, products that you can afford that are good, because if you can't afford it, you might try it and then you won't you won't continue to use it. So good affordable products and you can shop around, they're out there. You don't have to buy something super, super expensive. I think, you know, even my dupe on my Foreo, I have a little dupe for cleansing. I love it. It's amazing and it's so affordable. And the other thing I wanted to say is that I, I must have arrived on YouTube because I've actually been accused now a couple of times um, nicely. Well, I don't know about how nicely, but I've been, I've been accused a couple of times of having had a facelift or an eye lift. And, um, you know, I find it amusing, but I, I have nothing against a facelift and eye lift fillers, Botox, nothing against it at all. And if I could afford it, I would, I think I would benefit from a nice lift, you know what I mean? I, I would, I'd probably hop on it if I could afford it, but I, I can't and my insurance won't cover it. And um, I just, I just am not in the bracket where I can pay thousands of dollars for something like that right now. It just it would be too frivolous when my, you know, when we need the money. So yeah, so I guess I've arrived. I've been accused of that, and no, I've not. I've not done anything to my skin other than the serums and the Retin-A and things of that nature. That's that's really it in a nutshell. So if you have any questions, leave them below. Obviously, I will answer as soon as I can. And if you're new to my channel, please like, please subscribe. It always amazes me the amount of people that view my channel and they don't subscribe. It's like unbelievably high ratio and so I, I just like freak out at that because I'm like thinking really you know hit the little subscribe button you don't have to hit the little bell to be notified although that would be pretty cool too but hit the subscribe button I would truly appreciate your support thank you so much guys have a a great day and um, have a wonderful week bye guys